Hello, welcome. This is your monthly tarot card reading. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to do love readings for the month as well. But these are the consciousness videos. Um, so these monthly readings are more to do with your own consciousness journey, like your own healing journey and your own journey really deeper into spirit. So it's more your spiritual guidance um, monthly reading and then but then once I've done those <laughs> I'm gonna start doing loved ones as well because I think it's nice to have the two um, you know we like you know the, the love side of things is always very interesting because it's the relationships and it's obviously very interesting to explore that but then obviously at the same time our own spiritual journey is really interesting as well that's why this is called this channel is called Awakening Tarot because you know our spiritual path is really the reason why we're on Mother Gaia, isn't it? So, like, that's the priority, really. But there again, we do like to know about relationships. So I think to do two separate readings. Then I'm not trying to do everything in one reading. Um, I think it works better that way. So I'm just making a few changes to the channel at the moment because, I, you know, I do need to try and boost <laughs> my channel up and get, you know, more people on the here. Um, and I'm sorting myself out as well, um, you know, which obviously <laughs> it takes quite a lot of work. And um, yeah, you know, I just want the channel to be a certain way, I suppose. So let's, anyway, let's go into this, right? It is for um, uh, da, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it's for the month of February, we're already in February. We just had the 2222 portal, or whatever you call it. So, um, yeah. Right, what have we got here? Um, okay, so. Right. Now, um, you, you're starting off February trying to be very, you know, decisive about something and take action on something or just be more. Um, like you're having to be quite tough is what I'm trying to say here king of swords energy something is challenging and you need to be quite tough you may be worried about somebody or um, you know you may be struggling yourself to be happy uh, because you're dealing with something here that you need to be quite um, hardened to I feel because otherwise it could make you feel quite sad okay now um there's, there's the two of pentacles reversed here so this is kind of an energy of like making sure that you really do make the healthy choices and decisions for yourself okay um because there could be something that's making you feel quite unstable but the thing is spirit is showing the long-term situation looks good okay so it does look good longer term um so let's see what happens as we move through february and we'll pick some other cards Okay, I know what I'm doing here. I, I just not. <laughs> I've got this deck of cards, right? And I'm going to write on these consciousness messages to do with your healing journey. Uh, it's the sort of stuff that I bring up when I'm doing readings, and then I'm going to pick these at the end. So I'm going to have to work on these ASAP so that I can start using them. Um, right, so now you need to be quite controlled as you start February off, and maybe as you move through February as well, because you've got the high priestess. So you can't afford to um, be telling everybody your business or even talking about it a lot because it could stress you out or make you feel unhappy. Um, and it's better to be very private is what I'm saying. Um, now, because there's something here that's upsetting you or not fulfilling you, um, the universe is stepping in to help you. So there will be communication. There will be movement and progression. Okay, things will move. So, so don't worry too much because it looks like there is support from the universe here. Um, and also what the tower is saying is you're actually going to be able to deal with the challenges that arise. Okay, because there, there are challenges, but you can deal with them. So don't... Um, sort of drop your level of consciousness down because remember that's what the matrix wants to do the matrix is purposefully throwing challenges at us all of the time and oh i haven't put my mic in so disorganized um and that's why 
we are challenged and that is why we are here um, to transcend the challenges and stay very centered very centered at your core at your root and don't allow these challenges to um, get in your way you know don't allow them to knock you away from spirit because if you start getting very reactive and upset or stressed or anxious about something um, what it does it gives rise to the ego and the ego is the opposite of spirit so it ends up pulling you away out of your alignment away from spirit and we don't want that so spirit spirit of the tarot here is trying to say to you look Aquarius there are challenges but you can deal with these um, now here you know you may feel unstable about something that's going on here but uh, if you stay quiet if you stay peaceful and you don't do too much that is the best course of action right because maybe this isn't your journey you know maybe if you stay quiet and silent things are going to resolve themselves and be better than you think um, because you have got this seven of pentacles energy which is showing that in fact um, you know things are going to be good in the longer term okay and we've got here the emperor reversed which is basically the fact that you you're gonna uh, have to do things differently structures may change in february things may change and structures may change all right um so uh, we'll pick one more line of cards now um the most important thing in February is to stay close to your um, loved ones, your soul family, people you resonate with, because they're going to help keep you in a conscious alignment. Um, you know, you need to kind of put down your baggage or your responsibilities and think through what things right now do I need to put to one side because I've got so much to contend with. And Spirit is saying that's the best thing you can do. Just sort through things and really think about the things that you don't resonate with or the things that you, you could pull back from for a while while you deal with the stuff that's coming up in February. Um, now, you don't need to make any decisions. Uh, some of you may make a decision to end a relationship, but for others of you, um, this is just kind of a, a message about delaying a decision. Don't rush anything. Uh, I did say about, you know, holding back. Um, try to let your trust in spirit grow. Um, and I know that's very challenging when there's lots going on, uh, but uh, this, is the, this is the reason why we're here, to come back to the true spirit and grow much more trust and faith in spirit, uh, because that's what we are. We are, we are part of spirit. Um, so don't allow the challenges, because you might find, <laughs> as you move through February, some old fear patterns arise, um, some old mind activity, things like that, that you know maybe used to stress you out, freak you out, and those things might arise. And um, you know, it, it's, all that's gonna do is lead you into more separation energy. So be very vigilant to the mind, and don't allow the ego to take a grip of you. Don't allow the matrix, don't allow this 3D reality to um, distract you and pull you into its unconsciousness. You know, it's like a maze and you, you get lost in it. So stay very centered in spirit through February. Stay with your soul family, with the people that make you feel good, that you resonate with. You know, the tarot here is saying that you're going to get through the challenges. Uh, things are going to be okay longer term. So you mustn't allow any fears in the mind to um, confuse you or stress you out. Okay. And if, if you're finding it difficult, you know you can contact me for a one-to-one -one reading. You know, um, <clears throat> you know, a more in-depth reading for yourself. And we can go a bit deeper into it. Um, but you are going to have to change structures and make some... They might not be permanent changes. They might be temporary things you need to do in order to uh, get through a bit of a uh, challenging time. And ultimately, you're going to get through that challenging time and things are going to be good. Okay? Um, so this is all about, uh, I think, February for Aquarius, getting much closer to spirit because you're going to come through February and, and realise how much spirit's actually been helping you.
Um, and you've got here the Three of Abundance, and that is all about cooperation and helping because it's the Three of Pentacles energy, okay? Um, your passions will lead your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talents. Learn everything there is to know about your interests. Um, take classes, get a mentor, team up with like-minded people, like I said, your soul family, you know, um, and um, allow your creativity to soar, allow your abundance to soar. Um, you know, there's going to be cooperation, there's going to be people helping. Not everything is on your shoulders, so please don't carry everything on your shoulders. That's the message. Um, and let's see what your spirit guides are supporting you with. battle <laughs> okay so there is there is this element of um challenge in february but um you know that's the matrix i mean to be honest with you it's the nature of the matrix all the time that's why we're here that's why we're here in the first place to go through these battles but the point is your spirit guys are helping you with it they're much closer to you than you realize um, let's have a look at the Alice in Wonderland deck and see what uh, message we get from that. Such a curious dream. Grounding, returning to reality and coming home. Now that's a very important message as well because um, when we go into our minds, uh, you know, it's like a jumble mess of thoughts and that's when the fears come up or projections and thinking things are not going to go well or that things are too challenging and that is actually throwing you out of alignment and it it makes you very ungrounded because you end up too much in the head and not enough in your spirit so you know this is the consciousness reading and like i said this is about february for aquarius the stepping stones that you need to take and the way things are going to go and how spirit is supporting you and guiding you. And you're going to come out of February realising that actually things are not all on your shoulders. There are certain things you can pull back from. You, you're you going to be much more in your mastery. You're going to be much closer to deeper to spirit. And you're going to have some really good realisations that um, actually you've got soul family around you helping you. Um, so... Things are going to build and things are going to, like, there's there's evidence in these cards here that Spirit is saying things are going to build and things are going to be okay, okay? think you're going to reap the rewards. So um, it's about staying very conscious and patient and working with Spirit. Um, so, you know... I think overall you're going to come out of February uh, much more conscious and much more um, in your mastery and much uh, deeper in your connection with your spirit guides and spirit, okay? So it's a good month really for Aquarius on that level um, because, you know, if, if your awakening is really important to you and your spiritual development is really important to you, uh, then February is going to be a month where you're going to accelerate. It's like spirit is working on you and accelerating you. Okay. Um, and that normally happens because they're preparing you for something bigger. Okay. So that's the message Aquarius. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a one to one tarot, like I said, I'm here, just contact me and I'm sending you lots of love, lots of peace across Gaia, wherever you are for February.